manager to the Ed Sullivan Theater. He was David Letterman's sidekick and band leader for 33 years. Please welcome back to this theater, the great Paul Schaefer. Does it feel good to hear that song in this theater right now? Oh, my goodness. Well... A song that you wrote. I did. I wrote the, I wrote yeah. the theme of the David Letterman show, and it was, uh, you know, played every night for all of those 33 years. Yep. And you have taken that income out of the mouths of my children. <laughs> which... Uh, only kidding. We had a wonderful run. Uh, to be here, though, first of all, we're in my... This is where I... That's this right. was my this area This is the first time you've been years. back here since yes, Dave's last first night. Time. My, I and my band were over here. And, Dave and David would be here by the column where John there. is and everybody, yes. Yeah. So it's been reversed, and it's like being on acid a little bit. <laughs> uh, good. Otherwise, good. yes, good. in a good way, in yeah. a good way. Well, well we flipped no it. No, we flipped the stage because we wanted you on so much oh, that, that we you... wanted you to feel welcome in the right spot and on in stage new, I'm for back the interview. In my spot, yes. Do you like what we've done but with the place? You have done it. I love the touches, the little touches like this. Incredible. Yeah. We didn't. We had covered this up. This beautiful thing. It was this covered is, with uh, sound sails and stuff I like guess that. Whatever for, yeah, it was. Yeah, and this, a is, this is a Broadway house, though. Yeah, wasn't exactly. it the Hammerstein Theater? It was. Yeah, 1927. Yeah. Do you miss? You you did this for 33 years. Uh, is there anything you miss about being on TV every night? Well, every night. I mean, you certainly didn't know exactly where you were going to be every night, and I don't have that, you know, anymore to fall back on. It was particularly great at family functions, social functions. You know, you know. <laughs> Uh, Margaret, Uncle Ernie, I'd love to see you. I gotta go, though. We have a show, you know, and I was always, <laughs> gotta go do the show. I wouldn't be flying. Well, I gotta make the show, you know, get to the airport. Nice to see you, though. So I don't have that anymore. <laughs> but otherwise, um, it is maybe a little healthier. Two years later, I can kind of look back on it and say, my goodness. Yeah. We were a little bit wound up tight. Well, you do 200 hours of this a year for three years. And you never really come down. You always have one to do the next night. So it's true that you can make up for your mistakes. You can always have another chance at it, but you don't relax really. Oh, it's all, it's great. It's a real privilege to do it. And I just, I hope you have as long a run as we had. Oh, thanks very much. And we're you having will. Fun. We're having fun. And this, the hippest band in the land. First of all, I'm noticing backstage John, but he's one of the great jazz pianists, and when he noodles, and noodling is a technical term that we pianists mm -hmm. use for when there's comedy going on, you don't want any dead air at all, you're just tinkling on the piano, yeah. tinkling. Yeah. The hippest noodling, though, it's like tritonal, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's a talk show. Here's a noodle. noodle uh, said, yeah, John. this is how he noodles. You know, well, now he noodles, and it's Bach noodling. Yeah, Bach or Beethoven or McCoy Tyner. Yeah. Noodling behind a, you know, a comedy yeah. act over there. Yeah. We were not the same. Tonight, you know, we're going to reunite. I have brought my old band. Well, that's really the exciting. Is that dangerous band? People here, people here tonight get to hear you play. But you are also, you have an album. You have a, a new national. I got the tour. band back together after two years. I got a call, you know, make a record. And I brought the world's most dangerous band came back together in a studio and made a record, which is called the world's most dangerous band with Paul Schaefer. And we're on the road now. And this coming Saturday night in Beverly Hills, California, we're going to. play play at the Saban Theater, me, the whole band, the great Valerie Simpson, legendary soul writer and of every Motown song we love is touring with me. And this Saturday night, Brad, first time I'm announcing it because it's Beverly Hills, Martin Short, my old friend, is coming by for a special appearance at the Saban Theater. Can I get a ticket? And then we go to other three. Yeah, please come out. I would love to get Come a out ticket. for it. Now, one of the things that you were uh, known for uh, over the years is how how well you dressed right there. You have all these the different, are, yeah, are, not different all of them. shots. Not, not all of them. Colors, we got about yes. eight of them here. We got yes, eight of them and here. I can, yeah, white, of course, for summer, and then you know, if you have somebody British on the show. But this man has put me <laughs> Well, that's what I want to ask, shame. is what do you think of John's outfits? Is he bringing his game? You, well, you know, it was not easy to put the two bands together like we're going to do. Their band, our band, Valerie Simpson and me singing a duet. 
It, and I, I, I had a lot of technical questions, and I, when I called John up, I said, first of all, who is your tailor? Because I've got to find out, you know, he has, he has up the whole game, you know. Well, we're super excited that you're here with John. The world's most dangerous band is going to be here, Val Simpson. We'll be right back with that performance by Paul Schaefer. We're not going to miss it.